recording in progress. So anyway, as I say, this is last week's um, gallery, Rogue's Gallery. <laughs> Who's is that then? This is Anne. Oh, that's good. It's lovely. She's good. Yeah. Oh, it looks Roof. like good paper, right? The roof's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. I was only thinking afterwards. I think towards the end, I slapped some white on it and it worked really well. Gave it a little bit more depth. Well, I didn't. But look at that. That's so nice. Um, yeah, who's that? Oh, that's a Carol. She does. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's yeah. only Carol's. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, well done. Well, I put some poppies in mine instead of daffodils. <laughs> mm. Yeah, well, the, the, this it's just the base, isn't it? And you just yeah. whack mm. some bits in afterwards. Mm, nice little picture of that. Mm. Oh, thank you. And when you, the beauty of these pictures is that they're well composed, aren't they? So, mm. you know. I was looking at it for today's one and I was thinking, shall I crop this down, do this, do that? But in the end, it's the reason that they're they attract you from mm. the um the That's reference. Nice. Who's is that? That's Chrissy. That's Chrissy, yeah. Mm. Mm. I've got a little, little bit in the corner, the shadow is <laughs> <of> my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder what that was. <laughs> it looks as if I was very artistic. He put a random shadow in, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't notice it until after I said it. <laughs> Trick me. I could have got rid of that. I could. Do, I could. Have, I could have cloned it out. Oh, it doesn't matter. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. loose one, that Chris. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. That's a serious mm. bread on that door. <laughs> well, there you go. That's what I was saying to Pauline yesterday, it's the sort of place we all bugger off and go on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be a nice beating mm. holiday, isn't it? That's oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Who's is that? Can't say. <laughs> that was yours, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. No, that's Gordon. Yeah, lovely. Already did a good one. He mm -hmm. added some more props as well. Yeah. Mm. Close, isn't it, that? Mm. Oh, that's good. That roof is brilliant. Oh, don't hand it to him, Chris. Thank you, Christy. At least somebody <laughs> appreciates me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. on my, I, put, I was saying I put white on mine. And it sort of gave it some sparkle. That was a, an inspired bit towards the end of last week. I was <laughs> mm -hmm. looking at, but you can always tell with me because I, if I if I'm happy, I won't touch it during the week. I won't tinker with it, which I haven't. So mm -hmm. it's a, a measure with me. I always mm -hmm. measure that. Mm -hmm. Sort of come back Thursday. Friday morning, and I'll look at it and I think, oh, 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 just do this, tidy this up, and whatever. And the mm. good ones, or the one, some of the ones, if I don't know what to do, it means it's a good one, doesn't it? <laughs> Is our Pauline? She's cracked yeah. it. Yeah, nice. Well done. Yeah. Oh, I know. I I could tweak the colours. <laughs> <laughs> I could... didn't notice that after I'd finished. I missed out the chimney pot on the. Right hand side, I think. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice that. No. Uh, there is a bit of one, isn't there? Yeah. That Gordy, Gordy tri 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 tricked out of the sky. He lost the sky and the chimneys mm -hmm. on his. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, well. We'll let him off. All that oh, work yeah. he did in the week. <laughs> mm. uh, it was windy, wasn't it? Blew off. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. we'll have fun. We'll have a bit of fun. Let's stop the share. It doesn't look like the new ladies come today, does it? 
Ah, sí. And I definitely sent the link out because you guys are here. Yeah. So the link was right. I'll just have one quick check in the email, see if there's anything there. No. Nothing happening. Let's go. March on. Mm -hmm. Oh. I didn't hear a word of that. I think where's Anne and Gordon gone? <laughs> they went on the screen. I've just tried to go switch to active speaker and all I got is my set oh, it's all right, I'm here now. Okay. Don't touch anything. <laughs> Anne, Anne and Gordon went out and came in. Oh, it's one of those funny mm -hmm. days. Day, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Right, we're back. We're back. Yay. I asked you a question, Dave, and then it tripped. It tripped. We think you actually shut us out, but we don't know. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I was just asking why you don't frame them anymore like you used to. Um, don't know really. No, they used to look nice in frames. Hmm. I think it was, um, I did one not framed and I thought, well, oh, that's all right. <laughs> there was no you... reason for it. I just stopped doing it for a little while. Oh, right. Well, I'll put it back. Don't worry. It only takes a few seconds to do. Yeah. Look at that for a sketch, eh? Mm. Be worth a lot of money when when I'm gone. <laughs> it's a bit dull. It's a bit dull in here today. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit dull right there. Mm. Oh, this I'm painting upside down here. Oh, sugar! Oh, I thought it would look funny. Oh, be traced. Oh. The, um, yeah. <laughs> if anyone knows how to do this stuff, let me know. Because, <laughs> <laughs> right. um, <laughs> well, I think, acrylic. <laughs> hmm. yeah, I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. Um, the pressure's not on because the, the new lady's not come, has she? Yeah. <laughs> Always puts pressure on me that. I don't know. Makes you feel more. I don't know. Like you've got to do more. Oh, I see you just abuse us then. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no, perhaps not. No, not in this climate. <laughs> I was <laughs> delicately painting around this bit, but I just thought myself cobblers. I'm still, I'm still using that um, phalo blue. Oh, <laughs> it was in. I put it in there for that blue door. Yeah, it's, it's a still nice there. blue. It's what make there. is that then? Is that the um? No, it was just cheap paint. Oh right. Okay. But, um, somebody gave me a set of paints well i've got quite a few of them floating around so i just i just squirted that in mm. don't want to use your own paint do you <laughs> <laughs> no it was a it was i just sort of ran out of blue in the palette so i just thought oh that do i've never tried that phalo blue you just make that look so easy when you do that. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's not to. Yeah, I'm not going to get those. I think what there's does... the. Um... I'll do it before we go. We have to go and get some more. Yeah. It's not to um, paint a wall. You know, if you just do a bit, stop, and yeah. go and lift it and go away. Right. And think about things like. Um, 
I do come in from those diagonals. I always have, yeah. don't I? Yeah. And you have to watch it, though, because as you're doing it, it does fade, doesn't it? It soaks into the paper. But I, but the water's there, so it should be able to do some of the work. I was looking at clouds this morning, because there was plenty of them, <laughs> thinking, how do you paint, you know, after all these, how do you paint them? How do you... Where are the shadows and you know where the? And I, I'm blown if I could work it out. <laughs> I couldn't. That looks so perfect. Mm. You've done this fish flash gloss. Mm. <laughs> well, I'll mark it up now because I'll put a bit of um shady bit in. I think. Mm. No, but you're right. Sometimes when you do it, you think best not touch it anymore. Oh, that real grey bit looks like a line of grey, doesn't it? Mm. Well, this is all I've done on there. It's mixed up. I've got a little bit of um, shadow tone that's in this palette from God knows where. Mm. And I just added a little bit of the blue to it, mixed it on this bit of paper, and I'm just dabbing it in. Sort of go towards the tree a bit. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I might get some sort of a shadow on that. But I said, I was, as I was saying, I was out there this morning looking at the clouds on the in the key, thinking, "How do they work? How does how does it go?" And I, <laughs> I was looking at it quite. And it's windy and moving, and I thought, do you know, what? I'll give up. I don't. I was trying to work out, like you do. Is there a a proper way of doing it? A, an obvious trick that you could use to make it always spot on? Is it? Are they dark at the top and light at the bottom? <laughs> Or are they light at the top and dark at the bottom where the shadow is? And for the life of me, I couldn't work it out. I just looked at it and thought, I'll give up. <laughs> These brushes are good, though, because yeah. they've got that point on. So you do get a... Really, it's dirt. Sometimes, it, sometimes it's more like dirty water, isn't it, for the clay. But you can spend quite a bit of time doing this. Well, that's not true, Dave. You can't actually because it dries. You only got a certain amount of time before it soaks itself into the and dries off into the paper. Then you've had it. I, th I think less is more in these things. To tell you the truth. He says, putting more on. <laughs> it's, it's, sometimes I put the cloudy bit or the grey bits and I think you've ruined it. But I don't, I don't think you can. I think it's more... A, I just dipped it in the water just to so I said the other day, wasn't it? Sometimes it's it's more like it, when you do it, it's not putting colour on. It's just using dirty water out of the pot. It's enough to give it that sort mm. of lift, that stain. But the other thing I like to do is um, it's sort of a lift out of a, a lift off of um. Charlie Evans. Let's just use a damp brush to lift some, put some red in. <laughs> what? I don't know where that came from. But if you if it doesn't work and you're not happy, like that bit of cloud, I might think. Oh, I don't know. You can just use a damp brush, flat one, and just lift it off a bit. But have a tissue in the other hand and push it down and then take it off again. 
as I say. Boom, dum, dum. There ain't no right or wrong. I want to just sneak a bit out of there. But like I say, the more you play with it, the worse it gets. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or the tendency is. Just... You can always come back. I've... I haven't done it for a while. But you can... Oh, I thought there was a, a run back. You can always come back and soften it down with clean water, lift it off. And if you're really careful, get your big mop brush and just put clean water over the whole sky and then just do another another layer. Watercolours are brilliant for that, for layering colour. Say, so this is a really good sky on this one. On that picture, it deserves more effort, really. So we'll find that bit of paper again. I think it deserves more, more time. <coughs> but... Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> I'm just using that, some of that colour up. It's catching now. <laughs> when have you got your COVID jab? Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Should be right. You'll hang on till then, money. <laughs> Rubbing a bit more of that dirty colour in. I just think the sky needs to be a bit more, have a bit more oomph in it. Especially over here. Go okay, straight. Put a few little straight bits in, straighten the clouds out a bit. It's still fairly wet because I can see the paper cockle, cockle in a bit. That one looks nice there. That's working. There's a run back there. You see where the paper's drying off. If you're confident, you could, with the very tip of that brush, just blend them in a bit if you get if you get the sharp edges but you want a, a couple of sharp edges look really nice usually not sure about that bit there or is it that bit there <laughs> decisions isn't it that's the problem with skies it's not painting them it's making the decisions on when to stop and what not to put in just got a little bit left on there Okay. Just wanted to, you know, it's drying back. I think there's a bit of a game changer these little brushes, aren't they? With the with the nice pointy bit on. She can go so fine with it. You know, you get such fine dabs of clean water. It's just got water on it now. One stroke and away. It's, it's gone a bit there. It's blooming there. So that'll have to be lifted out when it's bone dry. But that's just a matter of using a when it's bone dry, just use a damp brush and lift it off. Sometimes you can get away with it with a tissue. Depends how fussy you want to be. 
but you can see it as it's dry and you think Ooh, this is not looking good it <laughs> but a lot of it's confidence and just having the the confidence is comes in the fact that if it really 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 goes pear shaped you can clean it up see how damp it still is there i'm just putting a little touch of that tissue on it and it's just lifting a little bit up mm. yeah that'll do next bit i think what i'll do i'll wiggle on wiggle on get a wiggle da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, I've got a rigger here. Rigger? I'll use the um, Ludo one. Got these buildings in the background. So I just thought I'd stick some colour on. Let's start at the top one. No. Oh. A bit green there. I don't think it'll appreciate green. What I want is a bit of today. I'm going to use a lot of the June and uh, sand, sand and flesh tints. Absolutely positive of that. It's everywhere. It's, it's, and that shadow, I could use a bit of that. I've got some here. I was doodling away yesterday. I cleaned my palette out and then I did that little bit on a scrap paper. Cost me money, that did. Bloody thing. Money. Just a little bit of shadow colour. Light red and blue, that would do. I just want to put some something over here that's non doesn't represent what's coming later with the trees. A bit of red, I think, or pink. The colour there I'm used for months. It was mocha, wasn't it? It's like a pinky colour. I'm not actually drawing it, I'm just drawing funny squiggly lines. Make it look like there's some buildings there. When it's dry, put a couple of dabs of white on there, and that'll make it complete. Highlights. Da, da, da. Especially there. There's a little bit of flesh on it now. Do you ever do it when you paint something? You, sh you should do it. It's, um, if you don't know what it is, which is nine times time. <laughs> Think up, put a put an image in your head of um. I was doing it, thinking it the other day. It's like when you're a kid, and you went out to a field, and just put that image in your head and paint that. You know, when you're little, you go scrumping or you be in a over the forest. So if you're in doubt, it sounds arty and, and sort of whatever, but think of how you felt then. If you can paint that feeling, because you, you look at it, don't you, and you think, wow. And that feeling lost forever. It's a nostalgic inner feeling. If you can paint that feeling, you won't be far wrong. There's a little bit of a building there, I think. I don't know, I put some pencil lines in. 
not 100% sure what they are. I'll just put in a bit on the... I think there's some posts here, but there's more. I looked in the... When I looked on the computer, when I was a bit closer to it, and there's loads of them. There's pen, fence panels and gunners, what, everywhere. I'm just putting a, a marker on. And while it's damp, and I'm on that area, and I've got that lovely brush, I'm going to uh, mix up. This is the, I think I'll stick with the June colour. And make us some marks across here. Water. There was a blob of paint. This one up here is very faint. I've put a pencil line where I think the the grassy shadowy bit is. So I'm not going to paint the whole lot. I'm just going to leave some gaps. That was why, if you've got rough paper, it's ideal for this. I haven't even looked at the picture yet. Oh, yeah. Put a marker down. Bit of doom. Oh, that's fun. If you want to, you can use the fan brush as well. And push it. That's a good idea right from the start, I reckon. Is to make some ink filled, ink straws. It's not wet. I've not wetted the paper, so it's just damp, wet on dry. It was raining so much the last day or so. I've I've had to um unhook me water butts. They're just overwhelmed by it all. Mm. It was a lot. Mm. Well, I, I was looking at it. Yeah, I thought, well, I'm not going to need any water, <laughs> any water for the next goodness knows how long. Mm. Let's have a look here. What we got. Next bit, oh, while I'm in the mood, get the juny colour. I've filled this little well up with water, so it's certainly hydrated big time. I'm just going to put a line of it in here. I can't. I couldn't think of any other colour that would that would do it. Initially, as a background, because you always try to paint um, light behind the dark with watercolours. Not an easy concept to get a hold of, is it? Get your head around. Hmm. Right. I haven't got much in the way of yellow. Just that. But I have got some raw sienna. So I'm going to use that. Just not sure whether to use this brush or a smaller one. We're in a rush for time, aren't we? So. Yeah, with a bigger, bigger brush. It always gives me a, I don't know about you, a sense of achievement if you paint the whole picture with one brush. I think, wow, how clever am I? Hmm. I've got a bit of scrap paper here, so I can double check it. What I did notice on the doodle I did yesterday, that um, the colours... Uh, were sort of muted. Now I'm left-handed, and I so I really ought to go from right to left. Thinking about it, right, let's do the background first. Dab in some 
doodads. I don't want this. I'm going to miss that one out. Go up here. Across the tree. Who cares? Grab it up and down. Hopefully I'll get a simulated tree view. A bit stronger over here, I think. And then pick up a blue to drop in on it. When you got you know what blue that is. Cobalt and probably Cobalt and Phalo. See what happens when I drop some of that on. It's quite strong, isn't it? Just take the edge off. Drop it in. Let the water do the work. Was it? Who said I hate green? I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is. It's just. It's yellow and blue. But the thing. What I try to do is vary the the blue, so you get lots of variations and it's really difficult thinking about this while i'm doing it is it's really difficult this time of year to paint a picture with a nice summery aspect to it or feel to it when you're looking out the window and it's like mm. <laughs> or i've just come back from modiford key walking the the pooch and it's I've had a hoodie on <laughs> and it's still getting blown off. You know, I've this those little white bits, I'm gonna try and leave those. But what I'm done is I've got this brush on its point, its pointy bit, and I'm just going up and down, just pointing it up and down as I go across and just letting water. Because they're, they're in the distance anyway, aren't they? Or they will be when I've finished with them. <laughs> um, they're sort of... You could put some in the background of there. But it's going to be... I want to make that tree look different, don't we? So, and... Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's a bit missed a bit there. Oh, there's a lovely tree there. Nice place to stand and um, sit down in a chair and do some painting, though, wouldn't it? It's, good. it's a definitely a nice place. You can drop in some darks as well. So for this, I'm going to use a bit of blue. I haven't got burnt umber still. So I've only got raw umber in the palette, so I'll just drop a bit of that. And if you want to warm it up, just nick a bit of red warm red obviously alizarin crimson just touch it on the side you'll find out if it's dark enough then you can push in a few dark bits at the bottom of these trees don't go mad just a few you can miss a gap if you want This reminds me of um, driving to me mum's. Clansville. That's the name of the village. As you drive up round there and look, look across to your right, there's some little villages hidden amongst the trees and that. So if you wanted to, you could put a church spire in there because there's a church spire. 
was it Castle Carey, isn't it? You go up to Castle Carey on the way to Shepton Mallet Showground. Rather than do the Shepton Mallet, you turn left and go towards Castle Carey. And then you don't actually go into Castle Carey. There's a big bend where the station is. And you take a right there. You follow, take a right off the bend. And that leads you all up in the rain. Clansville. That's the first place you come to. Yeah, that'll do. If you want to um, spice it up a bit, I haven't got one here. I've got a stick. I've got a stick. Oh, I've got a knife. That's all right. Use a sharp point anyway. Knife is good. Um, push some of those up if you want. You might get some of the dark to look like branches in the background of the trees. Maybe not. Yeah, it's working. Just don't go all one way. Because I'm going to cover them up in a minute anyway. A lot depends on the paper we use, and this is fairly thin, so I'm a bit dubious of going wild. But you can always use the rigger and just flick in a few. Dab it in your dark bit and flick them up. How long have you got? You can spend an hour's doing this, and then while you're in the mood with a rigger, do you know what? You can, um, depends which rigger you want. I was going to use the the June color to, um, paint this, these twigs. Don't ask me why, it just seemed like a. I have to stop there and go back up. 13th David House, you say. Oh, but it all comes together in the end, doesn't it? I'm sure it will. All this doodling. Mm -hmm. I penciled the branches here they're a bit thicker at the bottom aren't they well i imagined where they were i didn't you can actually see them there's so much twiggy bits on it i don't know what i put a few extras in it goes right up this one doesn't it so you could Hardest bit is getting the, the fine ones at the top, isn't it? You sort of you think you've cracked it. You think, right, well, I've got a really nice ratio of paint to brush technique going on. And what happens? As soon as you get to the twiggy bit at the top, it ends up being half inch thick. <laughs> happens every flipping time. So then you decide what I'm going to do. I'm not going to, I'm going to push. In other words, I'm going to start off here and then lightly then push upwards and take pressure off the brush as I go. Do you think it works? Occasionally. Especially in a minute, because I've got to go over it with um, the darker colour. Down one side, anyway. I'll go up here. I think the, the, the technique or the, the secret is probably to spend six months just painting nothing but twiggy bits on trees 
you might get the hang of it. The reason I had this this burnt umber blue bit here was I was going to just drop it in to the branch. Okay. Not easy following your own brush strokes, branch strokes. But you don't want it to go over the whole lot anyway. You want it on it, just if you can, think about it and paint on one side so, so you've got the, just, it's not mission critical, but if, if you if it's a sunny day and one side's lighter than the other, then obviously leave that side beige, June, whatever colour it is. Flesh works well as well. Am I off for time, Chrissy? You're the timekeeper. Half eleven. Oh, we're gonna. I told you this was gonna be easy peasy. Mm. Really finished. Well, it's fiddly. Might need a bit more of that dark colour. What colour was it? Blue? Raw umber? And a hint of red. But if you want to be flash, you can stick a little smidgen of green in it. Or red. It doesn't matter. Or the, the Alzerian crimson. They'll equally give you that. Um, I think I'm going to have to split that branch out. It's getting too big. I don't know what rigour I've got here, even. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Rosemary, evergreen. Rigger number zero. It's an oil brush. Painting oils. But it's still soft because it's handling this really well. I'm very being um blase about this bit because I'm thinking further down the line. In a minute, I'm going to use a fan brush and sort of model the tree a different way. Well, that's the flipping plan. It's got now, this has got to be a dark bit here, so I might need to mix up a bit more. Because I want it to come forward away from the hill background. Because you could stop now and say it's a winter scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that tree. I've never seen a tree like that. Did I tell you that I'd bought... Um, a supersonic torch off of Amazon so I could go out and do the slugging. <laughs> they ain't happy. It's an LED light thing. Oh my God. It is so really bright. And I can, I can spot a snail at sort of 10 yards now. Mm. And last night, well, these these damp nights, brilliant, isn't it? Because you're out there. Nine o'clock. I don't know if it's um. That's a strange subject. Tell me about it. I don't know if it's snail and slug mating season, but I've picked up a few that have been entwined. Almost feel embarrassed, sort of disturbing them, really. <laughs> I'll put a bit of um, dark so. on these post things while I'm at it. I'll probably paint over it in a minute. But... Or something along those lines. Hopefully it'll come together. Oh, they make it look so easy. 
were. The hard bit of this picture of what I'm in my mind's eye is finishing off a bit. Am I happy? No, I think so. Any more branches you want to stick up? No, that one's fine. That'll do. A bit more dark. Put some knobbly bits in. Pretend you were 12 years old over the fields and you're looking at trees to climb. And you come across this lot. Oh dear. Good. But if you, like now, the, the rigor has got a little bit of dry paint on it. Well, you know, a little bit of paint on it. So just use it. Could actually put some. It's going to be a tree, here, isn't it? So could actually put some branches in there into them. But this is watercolor. There's nothing stopping you put using a pencil at the end a watercolor pencil or even a, just an ordinary hb to put a few fine lines here and there i think that's a good good idea right now on the bases of painting Back to front. I'm actually going to try this brush. Might add a little bit of. Hmm. I've got this raw sienna yellow stuff that I haven't really touched. What about a bit of fleshy pinky colour in there? Wow. Ah. What I'm trying to do is there's a, I've decided that there's a long edge here. So I've done all that, those background bits. I just want this bit all along, almost to there, I think, to that tree to be. As you think about it, if you had a farm, and you wanted to paint a hedge, a paint, you wanted to grow a hedge, you'd use the same plant, wouldn't you, all the way along? Just makes sense, because then when they come to maintain it or have to cut it, they just go along with the tractor, won't they? did it straight across if you've got a different blue which i haven't a cerulean blue or a lighter blue oh hang on so i saw earlier there was a tube of paint that i'd opened up i don't know what color it is i think it might be um cobalt turquoise I know, I've got a load of it on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> but what you could do is, what I was saying is, that fence or that hedgerow, it'd be nice if it was a, a totally different green to the rest. So, if you, use, you could use the same yellow or the same base colour. If you use a different blue, it'll come out as a totally different green but it'd be uniform to that area so i'm just gonna i've just put a dab of that on see what happens if it doesn't work we're not bothered because look i'll show you i'm not 100 percent sure if that has um, work but in the palette i've got that uh, horrid iridium green color Hooker's green and viridian green. 
mixed up, aren't they? They're half and half. So it's nothing stopping you putting that on a rigger and just teasing a few dabs of that on to bring it back where the blue was that we didn't like or what didn't work. There you go. You probably wouldn't see it so well on the video, but for a small fee, <laughs> you could buy the picture and get really close up to it. And look. <laughs> no, but you can see what that's what my point is that we're painting it from back to. Uh, what do you call it, background to foreground so I always find if you can get a nice variation helps later on, I think I've lost the buildings but uh, mm. I'm not going to cry over it I did say I was going to put a bit of white on it when it's dry right lovely top of it but We've got to sort of stick with local colour. I haven't got um almost need I've got a stiffly type brush that's um well oh, that's not it. a stippler, he calls it a stippler. No, that's another fan brush. I'm looking. Uh, I think I used it last last week. But it's really any old brush that you can give it a give it a whack, and you'll get those random. Load if I can find it. But anyway, I've got a. It's a brush like that. It's got bristles on it. You can sort of smash them up a bit. Grab a bit of paint. And just stip all your tree in. This is sort of a pencil line. I'll try it. I don't want to make it wet, that's all. Pencil line's putting me off. A bit of a blue. It's not working. It's not the right brush. Better off with the... Um, so it might be an idea to get a fan brush. I like that, it spoiled it. Bit of yellow. Well, I don't think you can throw them at the arm. We'll get there. We're all seeing it. Well, that's bright. Take the leader off the brush. Because it's caused it all now. She's on the edge of it. Dabbing some bits of foliage. Paint the edge off. How much paint is on there? Got a bit of blue in. Have you looked at them? No. I put water in both sides and you can keep the small one. Mm. Um, clean water. Come on, get yourself, get a grip, boy. You don't need that many clean water, so I thought the other one you could actually stand your brushes in. Oops. A lot of water and not enough paint. You don't really need clean water if you've got two. It's just blue on top of it. Because Dab it on for now. I've got the second one, 14 water. Pink tree. In theory. If you're not happy, use a bit of tissue yeah, to lift it off. It is quite dark, though. It is actually what? It's exactly what I thought it was. Yeah. Well, I've got that bit of green on, I'll just keep going. It's Spread it around. It's in the bathroom. That's not too bad. If you're not happy about it, just, as I say, put tissue on it. 
to lift a bit off. But it is a dominant tree, isn't it? Hard to decide the final shape of it. I didn't mean to do that. Like a blob of green in the sky now. But it's too far away to be um, part of the twiggy, part of the tree. We'll lift it off. Leave that. Right. This is the fun bit, isn't it? I haven't got a clue. Wow. I haven't got a clue. I just never got a clue what to do. That's the song, wasn't it? Sweet. Blockbuster. Does anyone know to do? Right. This, um, Bit tissue, get that out of the way. Fan brush, some dude on there, and a little bit of burnt umber, raw umber. Sorry, where they meet, they will form. Just put some wiggy bits in the back of here. It's, it's a is a balancing act of using a bit of old paper so you can get just the right about paint on to push it. If you can push it up, you'll get those sort of it feel like the tops of the thing. A mixture of paint. Well there are shadowy bits in there as well, so you've got Got a little bit of shadow, so we can just tease them in as well. But leave some white gaps. There's some white bits there. I did that right from the right from the get go. You should brush on the side if you want. Just push a few bits in, make it look like. Don't need much. And the beauty is, if you're not less is more, because you can always come back and put some more in. So whatever you did there that feels hunky-dory, <laughs> got to do it again now over here, but only more so. But there is a bit of a shadow. I'm going to put some shadow bits in first. There, and the same down here. Use the brush at a funny angle, I think. Might add a bit of water to that. That'd be fine. Clean water, just drizzle it on the bottom of it, make it smudge. Always add a bit more if you think you want to. Just look for any more while I'm here. There's a bit of shadow, a bit there. Going across. Oh, don't forget me. Now I'll stick what I'm at. I'm going to do exactly the same now. Bit of burnt umber. Where's it gone? There. And just rest my brush. Not even painting, is it? It's just resting. You up there? Hey, hey, hey. Told you it's hard. Nice color, isn't it? I'm 
Obviously, you don't want to do it all the same way. A little few little pushes. Even on the edge, isn't there? There's some. Well, I haven't loaded the brush again since Tuesday evening. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't pushed it up a bit. The um, actually taking paint off of it. Squish it on that bit of paper, and you'll find you get some lines coming out. Push it. I remember doing this um, sort of picture at Dunster Castle in Somerset. It's got, um, and they use those, they roll it up, don't they? Make those wheels of corn, hay. Could have been hard to paint, that was. I would say it was a bestseller. I might get away with adding a bit of um, more raw sienna to this, just to warm it up. And then taking as much paint off as I can. Start up there. See, yeah. as there is some yellow floating around, isn't there? Warmer colour. Anyway, I'm sure you'll do an excellent job. A bit of raw sienna on there now, just to ease it up. I think it's another one of those things that you look at it, perhaps when it's dry, the other thing I was going to suggest is I've got this pencil that's watercolour pencil that's just sand. It says sand. So I can just use it to push up some straw sandy bits. But the thing is, it needs to be raw sienna pencil, probably do the same thing. And it's all folded over, almost. But if, I think of um, rough paper or a stronger, not finished than I'm using here, would work quite well. But how long you've got, you could spend quite a lot of time painting or scratching in every piece of Whatever it is, corny stuff, cornucopia. Now the next port of call is more foliage. I'm just going to go for this. Raw sienna. The tree work, <laughs> tree surgery. Yeah. Well, it's the same as I've done elsewhere. This one doesn't need so much, does it? There it comes across. Just raw sienna at the moment. Well, I think there's a hint of flesh tone sandy stuff in it comes right over there doesn't it this one it's the therapeutic bit using the fan brush to tidy it up i'm not i've sat down as well which is bad well, i like to, i usually paint standing up
Don't let it dry too much. Let's go right down, shall I? Running out of um, wet paint now. But you have to keep going because it's it's all um the same season, isn't it? The same tree, the same tone. So whatever the outcome is, it's got to be, or it should be, the same blend of colours. It's dark in there. Go on, go for it. Keep going. Yep, a bit up here. Yeah, don't know what that is, but it's fine. Lovely jubbly. Down there. What's some more up here? I think. Da -da 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 -da. Quite enjoying this. Now I want to mix up some bluey colour. I'm going to use a bit of ultramarine cobalt and a dab of hooker's green. I want a false green. I don't think it, to me, it's not that bright. Whatever colours you use for it, just remember them. You can. You stand up. Oh, that's a bit too green. Keep going. No more. Lovely to blow. What we could do with some more yellow in this. Loads of it down here with that. Ivy sort of feel is. I think this could be one of the lemon yellow occasions. I'll try it with this stippler brush as well. It's not a fan brush, it's got the same um, hairs on it. Bristle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just leave a few air holes. Bird holes, as some people call them. Not very good, this brush. Well, I'm probably not using it properly. But it sort of blurs it a bit. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's because the paint's all dried. Hmm. I'm getting on better with the fan brush. There you go. Bit of blue, bit of raw sienna. Give me another darky colour. Mm -hmm. A walk in the country. Now I need some more. I'm going to do it regardless. Go on, use the fan brush. All right, well, a bit of this yellow and just say, drop it in here. Raw sienna yellow mix goes right up to that tree almost. Makes the field look like it's longer. Might get a chance to. Make it feel a bit warmer.
Mm. Very earthy colours I'm playing with today. Flick, flick, push, flick. Said I might use those posts. Right, find some green, which is blue. Dab that in, drop it in while it's damp. Push, 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 push. Up the post, yeah, go on. Push. Find some shadow in a minute and put it along the front. Certainly will. It helps if you talk to yourself when you're doing these things. Well, I'm only saying what I'm thinking. The only way to do it. The, only other... the one thing I do do, you can always tell when I'm painting and I'm happy because I'll start whistling. But I won't do it on camera because it's so bloody annoying. A bit of blue. I'm just dropping it in. Should have put some bit of raw umber in it. Make it a off blue. It's a very strong blue. I think that might be the the, the phalo mixture. Phalo blue. Them is strong. Just want to stick a few bits of it here and there. Yeah, tree's looking all right. I'm quite pleased about that. Well, we really got a rescue me rem memory remedy. Let's see if I can get some. Pickly bits going up here. Well done. Yep. Any more darks here? Yeah, put some there. One thing I was doing yesterday, or I just tried it on that bit of paper that I showed you earlier, was to put some to put some salt on the sort of wheat fieldy bit or the field bit. I was gonna report back didn't really work. Didn't it wasn't that successful. You never get enough time to use it on the in the morning bits because it's you have to leave it sort of overnight practically for it to work. I'm going to have to say goodbye, Dave. Sorry. I'm... Oh, is there something I've said? You're all right. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm absolutely fine. No, I'm going to um, Dave and Cats, and then oh, we're, right. all going, we're all going to Cappy's for lunch. Oh, to, um, to, uh, to uh, yeah. Our nice time. next year. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. We're um, mm. perhaps, so we need to all get our heads together and plan mm. everything <laughs> Brilliant. So, yeah, yeah so that looks lovely dave i really like that one and mm. um, look forward to having a go later in the week mm. okay then this is what i was saying just now because i've painted it in a strange way really i was putting in you know the fence posts really early and you know the buildings and all the rest of it. Yeah, no, just nice. to just to do it in a, I don't know. There's a bit of shadow colour here that I'm putting in. Right, I really must go. Go. <laughs> okay. Oh, bye. Bye. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you could. Bye. Bye. <laughs> don't like that bit there. So that's getting a tissue treatment. That bit there could have a little bit more shadow. So that's just um, Terry Harrison's shadow colour. Just put a few bits in here and there and call it a day then. Ooh. Well, there's one one bit I was going to do, but I'm not sure if it's if the um, 
if it's dry enough at the moment. And that was put a bit of a blob of white in amongst the the buildings at the back. I don't even know if I've got the right brush here to do it. Just a just a rigger to put some some sense back into it. Maybe. Well, I'm not fussed because I don't really want to advertise the the building so much. It's one of those things. We know they're there, but they're not. But they're not the be all and end all of the picture. Well, I don't want them to be. I can't leave it for a minute. And always come back and add add a little bit of interest. But when you if when you do the bit if you do the bills, think of them as think of them as being dulux. In other words, they they're they're not natural to the to the rest of the the landscape, the paint, obscure colours, bright colours, or you could use a bright blue straight out the tube if you want to, just to spoil it. Otherwise, they become part of the, the landscape and they're not. They're, they're, they're different. I've just used a little bit of um, crimson and red on there now. Well, I think we did quite well considering we were oh, a bit nice. late, yeah. late cracking off. Good. It's one of those pictures that it, it, it'll develop overnight. <laughs> mm. It'll, it'll will get a, a feel of its own. I like doing these. <coughs> I, know it's, I know it's green. And <laughs> none of us are that keen on painting green. But if you could crack it, you know, you, you become a proper landscape artist. It's a really nice thing to do. Mm. As I said, just now, if you've got a little bit of lemon yellow in amongst that tree, would push it back a bit as well. Or you could do it on the, actually on the, the, the grain of corn, this bit at the front, when it's dry, you could put mm. just a very light wash can't really do it because I haven't got lemon yellow room. Really. But if you can get a, it's not. There's a, there's some yellow there, but it's not um. Not a lot of colour. It's just water. It's just very. I'll, I'll try it. Hopefully it's not. It'll just don't need it over the lot. Just a few few spots mm. you just think um corn field and in the tree I said you could stipple some some yellow in amongst the tree as well and and lemon yellow is quite opaque it's quite bright I don't know if this is lemon yellow it feels like it looks like it doesn't it mm. I don't as I say but you could just put some some bits on awesome that'll do mm. oh they make it look so easy yeah you do <laughs> i like that that's one of my better mm. tuesday yes. morning very nice one Cheers, nice. and we've done it in how long did that take? Less than an hour? Yeah. Just oh. over an hour. Can't be bad. Good. I suppose I was talking to a lady when I was walking the dog this morning and I sort of said, it's a remarkable how much we achieve in a, such a short period of time. 
Well, you do. We don't. <laughs> yeah, we don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Takes us a few days. <laughs> well, it's because I've got that. I've got an exhibition coming up, and I thought. Oh yeah. In November, yeah. and I was thinking all the paintings that I've got are the ones that we do. And years ago, I used to do exhibitions and paint Mudderford Key, and that. it used to take bloody days doing paintings. And now we do this, it's, okay, the subjects are more varied and different, mm. but the time element, and it, it always, it, it, I'm quite proud of what we can do in such a short period. I hope it it's bound to rub off on you as well because I I always do it in a way that sort of makes it me I just don't worry about it if it mucks it that's what slow, slows you down when you're painting and you you think oh if I muck it up oh, I'm gonna muck it up stop <laughs> thinking it. if you muck it up fix it just don't, I suppose if you got a tissue in your hand and clean water you can just go push and dab it off quick it's or lighten it up. It works pretty well. Ah, well. Oh. That's quite yeah, good. It's very good. We'll stop the recording, I think. Mm. Then you can talk about Gordon then. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, this is so difficult. This is... Uh... Your love, my darling, save your love. For summer nights with moon and stars above, a serenade I love to sing you. Red as rose, I'll always be you. Save your love for Roman and for me. Thank you. 
Save your love, my darling, save your love. For some nights with moon and stars above, the serenade I long to sing you let us know I'll always bring you, save your love. 